Hey guys, how you doing? This morning I woke up, I was craving for sausage rolls. As a South African living in America, they are nowhere to be had. I need sausage rolls and I need them bad. When we used to live in South Africa, they were everywhere in different sizes, shapes, forms, by the dozen. I literally have 30 minutes in between calls and I need to get this done now. In this bake, we're going to use one pound of ground beef, two eggs, two sheets of puff pastry from the store. The spices, it is a half a tablespoon of crushed red pepper, oregano, nutmeg, garlic powder, Put your oven on and 375, make sure it gets hot before we put the stuff into the oven. And now we get to play with our food. So let's talk about when I used to live in South Africa. Sausage rolls were an absolute stable food. You could get them in any length, size, shape. It was the absolute go-to soulful food. Anytime, 24 by seven, they were freely available on the road, just around the corner from you from a fuel station perspective, supermarkets, they were everywhere. Just ideal for the perfect snack and they are delicious. I'm just going to uh, just show you what it looks like with all the spices mixed into the meat. It's all well mixed in. Gonna just put a little bit of flour onto the counter surface to make sure that none of the puff pastry sticks. You have these two lines. We take the one sheet and we then fold the other sheet on top of the other opposite lines. Put the sheets going that way and make sure that it's all square. Only roll in one direction. Take your popping bag, fill it up. You want to just squash it down to the bottom. I've already cut a hole. So guys, when it comes to piping, you can use a conventional piping bag. If you do not have a piping bag, do not worry, you can use a normal freezer bag. If you don't have freezer bags available, just put the ground beef into a, a ball, roll it out, get it to the desired length that you need that it's going to fit onto the pastry, and you're good to go. The difference between putting it into a piping bag or a piece of plastic versus rolling it by hand is it's just not going to be conform. Don't worry if it doesn't look uh, straight. All that we've got to do is just move it around and it'll be good to go. Bring in your egg. And just roll it over. So now it is time to score it. Going to score in one direction and then we're going to score in the other direction. The reason why I put my hand on the side of the rolls is to make sure that the rolls don't move. Okay guys, we now have the entire tray filled. Let's just egg it up and then it's going to be good to put into the oven. Let's get them in the oven. The cooking time is around about 20 minutes or until golden brown. <clears throat> okay, we've got them out the oven. You can see they're golden brown, delicious, cooked all the way through. From a sizing perspective, these are around about one inch in size. 
from a diameter perspective, you can make them as thick as you want to, long as you want to, right? So whatever's good for you, you're able to do it. This is awesome, quick, simple food that is just perfect for freezing on the go. You need to have a cold snack, a hot snack, great with soup, great as an entree, great as an appetizer, just awesome. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you. I've got to run. And on that note, catch you on the next one.